remove this thing. I'm seeing you praying, but you need to pray against the spirit of your family. Yes, yes. Because the spirit of a family here, that makes people to worship idol. Yeah, it's very true. Huh? Very, very, very true. Uh, now, on you people, it's making you to search for woman. You know, so the spirit of lust is entering, is entering bit by bit. Very true, very right? true. Very, very, so very God true. loves you. I want to pray for you. Yes. You understand? Yes, man. And after I pray for you, this brick will break. Yes, will really man. break and you yes. will prosper. You hear me? I receive. I eh? receive. I receive. Because these people are worshipping idols. I see people sitting around. My, my, my uncle, yes. Eh? Yeah, my uncle, yes. Yeah, they yeah. sit around here. It's very, very true. Very, very they are true. talking something funny. Come on! Very. Come on! Come on! Come on! Jesus name. So you are free. Eh? God bless you. So kindly please tell us your name and where you come from. Well, my name is Kuto. Uh, so I, I come from Limpopo, but I'm currently staying in Pretoria. Yeah. You've received a prophecy today from Apostle J.P. Maganamisa. Kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you. Oh, okay. Um, the man of God, uh, he narrated that, uh, I mean, there is a, some um, in my family, that we, uh, they worship. Uh, idols and all those things. Um, I, I confirm it to be true, and uh, and you know uh, we have uh, two, which doctors yes, you know, each and every year seasons, they do uh, ceremonies and all those things, which are uh, is something that when I pray because I'm a man of God and when I pray when I do a lot of things even when I want breakthrough in my ministry and all those things I don't see that much of um, a breakthrough on that regards as well, business-wise as well. But I, I believe after prayer, and I, I feel change, and I, I, I believe, uh, you know, through the ministration of the men of God, things are changing, and I'm happy within my soul and my heart. I believe that something new is taking place. Amen. Um, what are the words of encouragement that you have for our viewers who are watching us right now? The, the same thing that I... I, I did as a, as a man of God who I, whom I trusted the source or the system of uh, pulling myself from where I come from to, to the to the same, very same place uh, I told myself that I needed to be uh, you know uh, I needed that deliverance that I received today uh, I mean wherever you are in any place wherever you are anything that is damaging or uh, uh, limiting you. Find yourself in this place. Ask about this place. Your life will never be the same. And those who follow are uh, uh, those who are called. The Bible says that uh, how beautiful it is to, 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 to follow those who minister the good news. Uh -huh. So now wherever you are, if you are facing any kind of limitation, find yourself here, you re surely receive your deliverance, you surely receive your breakthrough, surely receive your peace in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing people fighting in the house. You hear me? Yes, did. Uh, there's too much arguments. Yes, did. And it's troubling you because yes, you are seeing what is happening in the house. Yes, did. Uh, but you believe that it's going to be breakthrough. It's affecting this girl. Yes. Eh? Yes. Because she can't read now. That's true. Eh? I'm seeing this girl. If we don't pray, you, you are a solution of the family. Let me touch you here. And uh, you are free. You are free. Can you just come? Hi, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and where you come from. My name is Karabo Stephen. I'm from Tembisa. You've received a prophecy today from Apostle J.B. Makananisa. Kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm the prophecy. The prophecy that I received from Apostle was very true, 100% accurate. He prophesied me about my family and uh, the commotion that is happening in the house and uh, how is it affecting my little sister with her upcoming exams. And you got prayer and a solution. How do you feel after prayer? I feel very, very happy because it has been stressing me a lot. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm very relieved after the prophecy. And there's somebody right now who's watching who is in a similar situation that you went through before you got the, a solution. What words of encouragement do you have for them? What I can tell them is that 
they should not lose heart they should keep on praying and come to church yes thank you where's your father uh, where's your father he died many years ago huh he died so what he died many he years he died eh? yes uh, but it has troubled you uh, yes because me i'm looking at you uh, there's nobody around you yes ma'am you understand uh, i want to tell you that god knows you and god must be your father amen you understand yeah. uh, can you carry on pray the way you are praying amen because me i'm seeing you as an intercessor you must intercede are you hearing me come come here i pray for you allow the church to be your father you understand amen and allow pastors in your church to be your father your mother come on. come because i'm looking at you you are lacking father fatherhood yeah? And, and sometimes you become very short tempered amen yeah? yes ma'am so you are free today god bless you. please tell us your name and where you come from i my name is bongabonki kamet i'm from harrismet free state Right. Um you've received a prophecy from the man of God today. Kindly please tell us in detail what he said to you today. Uh the prophet said that uh like I had this issue like ever since I was young because my father died ever since like, I was young I never knew him so I developed anger like I didn't want to be around men. Like I felt like there's no love because I never experienced love so like whenever I get to just taste up like nah it, it won't last because I'm not used to it so like um I didn't have that thing to just appreciate even if I, from my pastors as well nah like I was like no even like whenever I have ideas I would keep them to myself because I was afraid to share them I was like okay cool they won't help me because they don't my parents and all that so I, I had that ever since I was young until now All right and you've received prayer and guidance after during you know the prophecy um how do you feel after that like i feel great i don't want to lie i feel great like i feel like i'm free uh, i feel like i'm free i'm like from now i'll be able to talk i'll be able to share my ideas i'll be like i'll just be like be able to submit also yeah so like i'm free and like thank god there's someone at home who's going through a similar situation that you've been through or that you went through before the prophecy and deliverance what words of encouragement to you have for them so just always pray and go to church always pray and go to church and be, like be able to submit have a father in Christ then everything will be fine yes. there's a problem of your marriage huh? yes man of god there's a problem of your marriage yes man of huh? god mm. because you you are thinking your husband is doing like this yes man you are, of god. you are thinking your husband is cheating yes man of god and that you are not happy about anything eh We're fighting all the time. You are fighting all the time. Yes. This demon must leave. Ah! Come on, you demon, leave my sister. Yeah? Says, um, kindly please tell us your name and where you come from. My name is Rifuli. I'm from Alberton. All right. Um you've received a prophecy today from Apostle JP Makananisa. Kindly please tell us in detail and confirm the prophecy. Um the prophet prophesied that um I'm always fighting with my husband because I don't trust him and he said that there's nothing happening. I must start trusting my husband now. All right. And then do you confirm it to be true? Please tell us in detail. Yes, it is true. It's because my husband is always jealous of me. you know always worried about where i go that's why i thought maybe he's the one that's doing something that is not right so i would always fight him um to say you treat me like this because you the one that's doing funny things but the prophet said there's no such thing i must now stop fighting my husband and we must be happy in the house all right and how do you feel after prayer and the prophecy i feel happy i feel like it's a breakthrough for my marriage because i want to be happy and i know that my husband also wants to be happy but we can't be happy if we be busy um accusing each other so i see that it's a spirit of jealousy it is the accuser that we must fight against it's not us 
that has problems, you know. It's the lies of the devil that makes me want to see my husband as a cheater and he sees me as a cheater, whereas there's nothing happening. So men of God expose the lies of the devil. So now we know that the enemy is Satan. And, and, they're not, and so I think the breakthrough we're going to be happy in our marriage. Amen. And there's somebody at home who's watching and who's going through a similar situation that you got a solution for today. What words of encouragement do you have for them today? Well, I think... We, want, we need to start understanding that um, the enemy does not want happy marriages. So he will always come and bring out things that are not there. So when you see your husband maybe going to the gym, you're thinking that he's going to meet a girl when there's no such thing. Or if you start doing your makeup, you do your hair, then the husband thinks that you're doing something wrong and there's nothing happening. So now we must start asking the Holy Spirit to expose the lust of the enemy so that we know that it is him that we must fight, not each other, so that there can be happiness in our marriages. Amen. Thank you so much.